Hi, I'm Nick Salazar with TriRig.com. I'm here with uh, Andrew James with BMC. He's a product manager on the TM01. So he's going to take us through the bike a little bit and just uh, talk about sort of the technical features and the aspects that went into the creation of the bike. So, Andrew, take it away. Okay. Um the easiest way to, to display, uh, to explain the, the concepts on the TM01 is to refer back to our uh, original um, uh, formula that we used when we, when we released the bike on, on the BMC racing team. And that formula is Vmax equals P2P times sub A. Now, the maximum velocity, which is the Vmax particle formula, is the result of our two features on the bike. The P2P, or the position to perform, and the sub A, which is the maximizing the uh, aerodynamic features of the bike. The P2P feature is the result of us um, evaluating all of our uh, experience with the TT01 project, which is now um, the, the predecessor for the TM01. The adjustability for the rider was one of the biggest uh, focuses for our engineering team in designing this, this product. The BMC uh, 2121 offset seat post here actually has four different uh, offsets or positions that the cradle here can actually mount onto. We're currently mounted on position three, so it still can come forward another another seven millimeters from there. This means that uh, anyway we have a, a standard seat tube angle of 77 degrees. That's a real seat tube angle on the frame. That's what the that's what the tube actually telescopes. That's what the tube telescopes at. Gotcha. Now of course when you then uh, with d different uh, seat tube seat post extensions there and bringing the uh, the cradle even forward one more one more point, we have riders on the on the using the bike like Andreas and Michael Rellet. Andreas Relit's effective seat tube angle is 82.6 degrees, so it's extremely steep just for, for that purpose. Gotcha. On the other side of the coin, riders like Taylor Finney and the BMC Racing Team are riding at just over 74. Perfect. The second part of the P2P concept is our handlebar stem here, mounted to our BMC patented integrated fork. The stem, what you're seeing there, is only two parts of, of a four-part spacing kit that you get standard with the bike. So you get four different uh, wedges and spaces. These wedges and spaces would give you a, an approximate uh, range of, of length anywhere from a nine, nine, 85 to 90 millimeters to a 125 millimeters if you are using a standard stem. However, the benefit with this is with the one kit that you get with the bike, you can achieve 32 different positions. These parts all flip-flop and can be interchanged together. So it's not just the, the extension or the length that you're getting, you're getting a huge range of adjustments, uh, both high and low here in, in this whole area here. So it's an extremely adjustable handlebar steam system. Gotcha. Can you tell us about um, pricing and availability for the bike? We have uh, availability for the, the models you're seeing on the booth here will be late December to early January here in the USA. We have, uh, for the TM01, we have three uh, specifications. The Altegra specification, I'd like to point out that we, we don't cut the corner on the specification. They are full groups or even up spec like a Durace uh, gear shifter there. Uh, Altegra spec, full SRAM red spec, including the R2C shifter and the new BL900 brake lever. And the last and least, it's the, the best of the best. We're using uh -huh. the full Durace DI2 group. Last but not least. In yeah. conjunction with the, the Zip 808 Firecrest there. Excellent. So pricing starts at uh, 4999 for the Altegra, okay. 5999 for the, for the SRAM red and 12999 for the DI2. Great, and those will be available starting around January? That's correct. Thanks very much, appreciate it. And for more info and photos, check out tririg.com.